Hello, everyone. This is Monica, the Creative Beast, <clears throat> and I am here uh, with some fellow Cogsters doing some creative play, and we had some questions submitted this time around, and there are some darn good questions. So the first question is from one of our regular attendees, Lloyd. Thank you for asking the question, Lloyd. The question is, we know you do sewing and mixed media. Are there any forms of art or creativity that you would like to learn? Yes. <laughs> so many people who followed me for a long time know that I started sewing as a young girl and my grandmother also taught me to knit and I was pretty young, but I didn't really get into advanced knitting until, you know, my twenties or thirties. Um, and I doodled, I draw, I did coloring as a kid, I took art classes in high school, I went on and did fashion design and pattern drafting, and then I went back to take some art classes, and I did a little bit of um, uh, typography font class, I did a semester of ceramics, so ceramics is something I would love to explore more. I learned about collage and mixed media uh, when I went on to some more studies, and that's when I really started doing more collage mixed media from junior college, um, and then I learned about bookbinding on my own, and I've been doing a lot of that, and art books ever since. So ceramics is something I would like to explore more, but uh, some other things I would love to learn are paper mache dolls. I see them all the time, and they look like a lot of fun. I would love to learn soldering to make bezels. Okay, so I'm wearing a necklace right now that was an old unfinished project. And this bezel was given to me, and it's actually made of clay, but it was given to me and I made uh, the necklace and the hanging part, and I've got some little earrings that I finished. So that's an unfinished project, yay! Um, which leads me to the next question. How many unfinished projects do I have? Which am I need to get? <laughs> um, I have been putting up for the vote every month two items that I'd like to finish and work on during the creative online gathering playtime. And somebody felt that one of the projects I submitted for the vote was really like not an unfinished project, but it is to me unfinished because it was all the supplies gathered in one little packet to make a pair of mixed media earrings. And uh, if it's all gathered together to be made, then to me it's an unfinished project. If I'm putting, like going through my things and then I think, oh, I'd like to make something and then I start something, that's also an unfinished project. So, um, so I'm not sure how many unfinished projects I have, but I am being urged to count them all. <laughs> and share that in next month's creative online gathering <laughs> with me, the Monica, the creative beast. So, um, so for all my regular Cogsters and people who have attended the Cog here in the past, uh, why don't you also make a count of some of your unfinished projects? Now, I know I have a lot of unfinished projects that might be too numerous to count, and it could probably be close to 100. <laughs> because I have sewing projects that were started, I have books that were started, and I would count each item individually. Um, I have fabrics gathered, but if they haven't been cut, then that's not really an unfinished project. If it's something that's been cut and waiting to be made, that would be unfinished. If, um, with jewelry, if it's all assembled together in a packet waiting to be made, I consider that an unfinished project because everything is put together and there's a design in mind and that's what the, so I have an idea for a finished outcome. So this was an unfinished project for a long time because while I had all the parts together and it was all contained, um, I would work on it a little bit, like, you know, I made this little part here, and then I was making these little mixed media beads and then trying to figure out how I was gonna configure them into this chain. Um, so that's why it was unfinished for a really long time. I just, I had all the parts, I had some ideas, I was starting to work them out, and it just wound up taking a long time to get it finished. <laughs> so yeah, between the sewing and the knitting, um, I have one big knitting project that's not finished, a shawl, my first ever shawl that needs to be finished. Uh, uh, jewelry projects that are put together, waiting to be assembled because for me the jewelry is pretty fast 
unless it's a mixed media piece and then I want to figure out how, how I want the item to flow, where do I want things to fall. Um, but when it's earrings, it's pretty, it's pretty easy. Uh, there's some earrings I might want to redo. So while I'm wearing them, it's not an unfinished project, but once I take them apart to remake them and reconfigure it, that would be an unfinished project. I have a lot of books uh, that have been started that need to be completed. I've got some uh, book covers that now need the interior signatures. <laughs> oh my goodness, oh the project. Sewing, bookmaking, knitting. <laughs> oh, let's see, I have a couple of drawing projects. Uh, a project that was voted on for me to work on is a uh, self-care card deck. Um, I have another card deck that I started that also needs to be completed and put out into the world. Yeah, I think it might be safe to say I have close to 100 unfinished projects. So I will attempt to make a count of all of them and uh, share that with everybody <laughs> at the next creative online gathering. So thank you all for being here. I hope you enjoyed my uh, answers. And uh, if you're interested in asking your own questions, feel free to sign up for the call. Okay, so thank you guys for your questions, and I'll answer more questions again next month. And yes, next month. <laughs> Thanks for being here.